Hey guys, Paul here with Roseline and I wanted to take a minute to show you what a successful lead generation website will look like in terms of search results and also lead results. So we're in Google right now and I have a lead gen website that's doing pretty well in Austin, Texas and it's a concrete contractor niche. So someone who's in the concrete business would find a website like this really valuable. The thing that a lot of contractors don't think of is what their clients are going to be searching. They open up a concrete contractor business, they're like, oh, I'll make a concrete contractor website and I'll include that I do driveway work, I do foundation work, I do pool deck work, whatever. But they don't realize that if someone needs driveway work, maybe they'll Google concrete contractor, but they're far more likely to Google something like driveway repair and the city they live in, in this case Austin. So I'm going to do this search. Now here's how cool this website is when you got good SEO. Um, right now this is the map results and for this particular keyword my website is the only thing that pops up as a map result. This is my photos. I have a nonspecific uh, address that refers to the range of service. And this phone number, remember that 3525 phone number? That's my tracking number. I'll talk more about that later. That's the map results. Now, on the organic results, we've got two ads and then Yelp, Best Repair in Austin, Home Advisor, Five Concrete Repairs and Resurfacers, and then the driveway guys. This is my website, 3525 for this keyword. It is one of the number one, uh, it's the number one local business that pops up. And a lot of people are going to notice this. They're going to see the phone number in the search results. That might be as far as they get. They're like, I better dial this number if I want to quote. This must be one of the best guys in town because he's popping up near first. Uh, they might add TX to their search. In this case, the results are the same, only one ad, but I'm still number three, only behind Yelp and Home Advisor, uh, and I'm the only result in the map. Let's try replacement, driveway replacement, Austin, Texas. Again, I'm the only one who comes up in the map results, and I'm the number uh, four organic result behind a two Yelp pages and one Home Advisor. Uh, if I take off the TX, sometimes that changes results a little bit. Here I've got a little bit of competition. Here there are three different websites in the map results, but once again, Driveway Repair Austin 3525, that phone number, I'm the number one map result, and I'm the number two organic result, only behind Yelp, a non-specific Yelp page that isn't even advertising a particular business. Uh, if I do say driveway resurfacing, and these are all keywords that I targeted with this website. I'm not doing as well, but I'm still in the top four. I'm still appeal appearing in the top uh, in, in the top map results. If someone's looking for three or four concrete contractor quotes for a driveway job, they're probably going to call this number. Scroll down. Let's see, Sundeck is beating me and Texas Premier Code is beating me in this keyword, which means I might want to put some more attention into this keyword in my website. I might want to add it a couple of times, maybe make a couple of links targeting it. But if I add TX, which someone might search, now I'm number two in these map results and I'm back to number three. So this is some pretty good organic SEO, some pretty good map SEO. What does that mean for a from a perspective of how many leads this particular website is going to get when people are getting these results in a Google search. I told you before that this 3525 phone number is a tracking number that I contract through CallSling. Uh, here's CallSling.com. This is my account and I have the Driveway Guys Austin uh, account selected. This number rings my concrete contractor partner. I'm a web I'm a web guy. I don't pour concrete, but I'm partnered with a concrete guy and when someone dials this number, his phone rings. Uh, there's a little message in his ear that says, hey, this lead came from Paul, and then there's a little message that uh, uh, the person calling here is that says this call is being recorded. And as you can see, the lead flow has been pretty consistent. If, there's, if this line is extra long, it means that two calls came in that day. Red means the call was unanswered. Green means it was answered. Please answer your calls <laughs> if you're getting a website like this. How quickly you respond to people and whether or not you build tr the trust of reliability is going to make a big difference in your bottom line. There's a big gap from the 4th of July weekend, but then it kind of starts up again. And as you can see down here, we've got about 18 leads in this 30-day period, and we can listen to some of those leads. As you can see, each one comes with a phone number that it came from, and if we click into it here, we can listen to it. Uh, a lot of these went to voicemail. If it's concrete, leave a message, and I'll call you back as soon as possible. That's the voicemail. Thank the you. voicemail message ends at around 12, 13 seconds. Or press pound for more options. Hey, this is Denise Humphreys. I was just calling about my driveway. 
If you could call me back, I'd appreciate it. 512-659-8475. See, that's a real person calling about driveway work. They came through that phone number, which is prominently placed in the map results and prominently placed in the organic search results. Even Sundeck didn't have that. There wouldn't be a phone number for Sundeck to call uh, if someone turned that up in a search result. Uh, let's look at another one. This one's from Brooklyn. This is a marketing call. We, didn't, we don't get too many of those. Uh, after the first couple of weeks, the marketers pretty much just give up. Here's most of these you can see are from Austin, Texas. Here's one from San Antonio, but it actually was a qualified lead, and my guy actually does work in San Antonio. Let's give this a listen. He picked this up. Hello? Hi, yes, is this Driveway Repair Austin? Uh, this is Jimmy Reyes. Do you do driveway repairs? Yes, yes. Oh, do you just work out of Austin or do you work in San Antonio also? No, we work in, from San Antonio to Waco. Uh, yeah, we work it that way. Okay. I'm calling from Stonebridge Manufactured Homes. I have a CapEx project that I need um, taken care of for some driveways here on my property. And then I so as you can see, that was a manufactured home builder in San Antonio who got access to my page because of how good the SEO is. Apparently this is turning up as one of the better uh, driveway pages even in the San Antonio area uh, because the keyword targeting is so good. Uh, and she's calling him for a CapEx job, which means she probably has several driveways that means needs to be repaired. That's a good lead. Send. Uh, a lot of these leads went to voicemail. Uh, if you're going to get a website like this, uh, first of all, if it goes to voicemail, you might not know that it was a lead that came from the website, but because I have it recorded here, I can tell you. But uh, you better reply to your voicemails pretty quickly because how quickly you get back to these calls makes a big difference in whether or not the person is going to trust you to do their driveway work. Here's a Los Angeles phone number, but I think this was just someone who um, was using a cell phone. Here's a couple of 800 numbers. Those are probably marketing calls, but most of these are pretty good. Is concrete. Leave that a one message, went to voicemail as well. Let's take it to possible. about 14 seconds to get to the end of the voicemail message. Hello, my name is Russ Hawley. I have a property here in Austin at 3408 Linridge Drive. I'm having a concrete problem on the driveway, and I'm trying to see what it would cost to get it fixed. So as you can see, that's a pretty good lead. This might be a landlord who's living in Austin but owns a house in, uh, in a landlord who lives in Los Angeles but owns a house in Austin. Uh, anyway, it's still a good lead for Austin. So this is turning up in search results all over the country for people who are looking for Austin area business to consumer driveway replacement services. So that's a little bit of what phone results this website has gotten. What about web results? Because there's also a lead capture page that will send emails. Uh, here's the back end of this website, 3525 The Driveway Guys. This is Weebly. I designed this website on Weebly. And here are all the email leads that I've gotten in roughly this same period, starting at about 627, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 10 email leads. Some of these are going to be duplicates because someone will email and then call. But between the 18 leads and then the 10 leads here, that's about 28 leads. We want to say maybe three to five of them are duplicates. Maybe got about 25 leads this month. Uh, each one of these has a name attached to it and we can read them down here. Phil Mark says driveways and quarters, corners raised and one is cracked. Probably a pretty small job. Uh, here's Kyle Anderson, severely cracked. Also need to repair where the driveway meets the walkway. I have pictures I can send. There's a phone number and an email. Uh, here's another one, roots of raised broken driveway. These are all real people who are responding to this website, which you can see is popping up in uh, serious Google searches for this particular uh, niche. So what does this all mean for this business? They're getting all these extra leads that they wouldn't have gotten because he has targeted web searches working for him. Uh, what's that going to be worth to him? I use this little job killing lead value calculator. Um, this contractor quoted me that their average ticket of service for a driveway job is around $9,800. We produced about 25 unique leads that month. Let's say that he has a 20% profit margin and actually a pretty bad closing ratio. Only one out of 10 of these guys he closes, which you can expect if you 
don't get back to these people on the phone, but if you were hot on your phone game and got back to these people crazy quickly and were uh, solid in your uh, solid in your sales pitch, had a competitive quote and projected reliability and actually were reliable and had good testimonials, then you could probably get this up to at least one out of five. So that's a 20% close rate. Let's look at this. What do I have in there? Okay. So according to this, the website has increased the monthly revenue by $49,000 from the five extra jobs that this uh, owner is getting by converting just five uh, out of those 25 leads, or one out of every five. Uh, that means the total monthly profit with a 20% margin is an extra $9,800. That's not used for expenses, that's after expenses. That's what this guy can just, you know, take to JC Penney or to uh, the Mercedes dealership and uh, improve his life and improve the life of his family with, pull away for his savings, uh, for his, his children's college education or his own retirement or buy a better house or just lead a better life. So that's what a done for you lead generation website that actually produces leads can produce. Your website does not have to be just a stick in the mud, a rock in the flow of the internet just blocking a little bit of water but not putting forth any results. That's the kind of web presence that actually gets results for a small business. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and maybe even a little bit entertaining. Uh, you can reach out to me at my email or you can call me. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.